Here we have the Simix Eclipse interface, and I'm going to go ahead and start up two separate targets. Each one is an x86 target. One will be a server, one will be a client. What we're going to do is set up the Simix interface and start the simulation. And then we'll also attach the debugger, just in case any problems go along. Because this is a demonstration, we're going to expect that something bad is going to happen. So here we go. We have a client and we have a server. On the top is the server, on the bottom is the client. The client's going to go ahead and send uh, temperature readings over to the server to be converted from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Everything looks to be going good so far. Uh-oh, we have a segmentation fault. We better investigate. Because we've attached the debugger, we can go ahead and take a look at why it faulted. Here we see the instruction pointer, and if we set a breakpoint to that instruction, we should be able to run backwards. Let's go ahead and hit the reverse execution. And we'll see if we can't figure out what the problem is. What we can see here is that the client is now reversing in time. Here we can see that our rounded temperature, this is just a bounds checking problem. So we have a bad value in here. You can see the value is 999 negative. Well, one of the things that we can do now that we know what the problem is, we could fix it and recompile the server, but maybe the problem is also over here on the client. We should probably investigate why it's going ahead and reading a bad value and sending it over to the server. Clearly the server code didn't intend for it to work that way. What we can do here is we can rewind and say the send function. Let's trace it on the other target system. So let's go back further in time. Once again, we can see that we are tripping back further in time. And we'll go ahead and inspect the variables view. In this case, we can see that we sent the 12. Well, clearly we have to go back a little bit further. 11. And now we've seen that there's our bad value. What we can use is the uncall function or the step back into the caller. If we go ahead and click that, we can see that, oh, it's the result of a glitch. Now I wish all software issues were this easy to fix, but in this case we can probably just go ahead and say let's patch up the glitch. We can go ahead and change this value to something different. And then we can go ahead and unset the breakpoint and continue. We can see here that we've not only found our problem, in both the client and the server where there was a bad piece of code, but now everything is working and it no longer segmentation vaulted because we went back in time, fixed the problem, and then navigated forward. Thanks.